嗰條咧就有關於煤嘅題目嚟嘅，咁我就想去考我哋啦。咁啊喺唔同温度底下啦，今次係廿五度同埋三十五度啦。咁啊，對於一個由煤所催化嘅反應咧，佢嗰個 product 啊個份量啊，究竟會有啲咩嘅轉變咧？咁其實呢條題目咧就考我哋三樣嘢啦。第一樣考我哋嘅咧就係 optimum temperature 最佳温度啊。咁大部分人體嘅煤呢，佢哋嘅最佳温度呢都係三十五度四十度啦。大部分咋，我唔係講全部啊跟住啦，第二個 concept 呢，就係講緊啦，廿五度到三十五度呢，咁由於升咗十度啊嘛，咁又未至於誒、呃、變性喎啲煤，咁所以啦，嗰、那個化學反應呢應該係加快咗。咁嘅意思呢，就係、是、啲受質呢會快啲形成呢個咁嘅產物啊。咁所以啦，重翻幅圖個演繹呢。嗰條 curve 嘅斜率呢，應該都係上升嘅。我哋睇返 A、B、C、D 啦，廿五、三十五斜咗嘅，廿五、三十五斜咗嘅，廿五、三十五係同樣斜度、哦。跟住啦，廿五、三十五嗱 ，A、B、D 呢，佢哋嗰個斜率呢，兩條 curve 嘅斜率呢，係有分別嘅。你見到三十五度呢，嗰、那個斜率咧的確係斜啲，咁即係唯獨呢，係 C 呢，第一個已經錯咗。跟住第二樣啦，考我哋嘅呢，就係、是、有關於個 product 嘅份量啦。即使温度增加咗，成個反應加快咗，但係對於個 total amount of product 呢，其實係唔會變嘅。咁用左手邊呢條式咧，去顯示俾大家睇啦。而家 substrate A 咧有一百嚿 ，substrate B 咧有一百嚿。咁而家我哋成個反應咧就係將 A 同 B 加埋，變成阿 C 咧。咁其實 A 一百 B 一百加埋咧，咁都係得一百個 product 嘅啫。你個反應快啲嘅，你即係快啲完成呢一百嚿咯。咁唔會代表話啦，你快咗會整到二百嚿、三百嚿噶嘛。咁啊，因為啦，你個 total amount of product， 你所產出嚟嘅產物咧，佢個份量咧。其實係依賴於你有幾多受質嘅，咁即係話啦，根據翻呢個邏輯嘅話咧，我哋睇翻 A 咧，你會發現啦，咦，廿五度整得五十嚿，但係三十度會整多咗嘅，冇理由嘅喎，係嘛？即係如果呢度已經係 maximum 係五十嚿嘅話咧，佢係唔會去得到一百嘅喎，係咪？咁五十咪五十咯，咁所以 A 就已經錯咗啦。跟住啦，去到 D 咧，仲衰啊，本廿五度咧就整多啲嘅，去到三十五度嘅時候咧，竟然整少咗喎。咁照計應該係行得快咗嚇，嗰一百嚿嘅 maximum 嘅 product 咧，應該都整得到出嚟噶嘛，係咪？咁所以啦 ，D 咧又錯咗。咁去到 B 啦 ，B 咧就最實在啦。OK， 無論廿五度定三十度，到頭來都會做到一百嚿嘅 product 嘅。不過廿五度嘅時候咧。就慢啲，三十五度嘅時候咧就快啲，所以答案咧就係 B 啦。Question nine is asking the change in the amount of products in a reaction catalyzed by a human enzyme at different temperature. So in this question, we are talking about twenty five degrees Celsius and thirty five degrees Celsius, ten degrees Celsius difference. So the first concept checking is about the optimum temperature. So the optimum temperatures of most human enzyme are About thirty-five to forty degrees Celsius. So that's why for the twenty-five and thirty-five degrees Celsius, so the M size they should not be denatured at this moment. By increasing ten degrees Celsius, so the rate of reaction will increase. So it means that the substrate will be combined to be the product in a higher rate. So that's why we can observe from the graph is that. The slope of the curve will increase. So that's why if we compare option A, twenty five, thirty five, twenty five, thirty five, and then twenty five, thirty five, so we can really see that the slope is really greater. See, but option C is wrong because you can see that the slope of the curve it doesn't change at all. And for next concept, we can compare should be the total amount of the product. So the total amount of product depends on the amount of substrate. So that's why even the rate of reaction increases, the total amount of products it should remain unchanged. So I would like to use this formula to demonstrate the concept. For example, we have one hundred substrate A and one hundred substrate B. These two molecules, and then we combine them to form the product C. So that's why. For one hundred A, one hundred B, when we combine them, finally I shall just get one hundred products. The total amount of product it really depends on the amount of substrate. So let's take a look at the option A. So the concept is that for the twenty five degrees Celsius, the maximum product will be fifty. However, if I increase the temperature to thirty five degrees Celsius. 
It should not make more product. It should just finish the curve, finish this 50 products faster. So that's why option A is wrong. And then for option D, okay, is a bit strange. So for 25 degrees Celsius, it can reach the maximum uh, product produced. But in 35 degrees Celsius, you can see that only 50 uh, products can be produced. So it's decreased. Say. But for 50 degrees Celsius, the reaction rate should increase. It should reach the 100 faster. Right, option B is our choice. In 25 degrees Celsius, the slope is a bit small. So you can take a look at the time for the reaction to be complete. So for the 35 degrees Celsius, it takes shorter time for the enzyme to finish the reaction.